Hello and welcome to my voice. <laughs> so I decided to redraw one of my old drawings, which is something I've been planning to do for a long time, but I just never got around to it. I looked through my old sketchbook and found this picture from January 2013, when I was 15 years old. It's a drawing of a girl with hair that's supposed to be glowing, which is why I did all that extra shading around her head. And I remember being very proud of it. I remember thinking, wow, her hair actually looks like it's glowing, but of course in retrospect it doesn't really. So I thought it would be cool to see how I would draw this idea with the skills that I have developed since then. As usual, I started out with very loose lines, just marking out the pose, where the features would be, and the direction she's facing. After sketching everything out, I go in and add details on the same layer. You'll see I flip the canvas back and forth horizontally a couple times, and that's because everything I draw tends to lean towards the left, and flipping it just makes it easier to spot mistakes like that. I'll go in with the lasso tool and move things around, or use the skew transform to make the drawing look less crooked. I tried to keep as many elements from the original drawing as I can, so her pose, the kind of droopy eyes, the long nose, and her slight smile. When I'm done with the line art, I duplicate it and set it to vivid light just to darken it up. And then I start coloring, which is my favorite part. I block in the skin tone and then add details like the blush and the lips and the eyes. Hair and clothes each go on a different layer and this just makes it easier to change their colors later on if I wanted to without disturbing the other colors. and then I add the light and shade, this time starting with the glowing hair. At this point, I'm not really sure what color I want her hair to be, so I keep playing with it until the end. In this case, I really had a hard time with the shadows because usually I would have the light source coming from one side of the character, but this time the light is coming from her hair. I rely on shading a lot for the face to make it look good and for the overall drawing just to look less flat, so you'll see me kind of struggling with it here, erasing and drawing again because I just really wasn't sure where the shadows should be. And I had the same struggle with the lighting. I ended up smudging a lot of it out just because I felt like her hair wouldn't cast that kind of harsh light and eventually I just went in with a glow effect on her face as well. I brought the original picture back out for comparison and decided to add that extra shading around her hair for more contrast. After taking a break from the drawing, I realized the entire thing was too one tone. Her hair and her shirt were too similar in color, so I made the shirt darker, added more shadows there for even more contrast, and changed the color of her hair to be a warmer color. And then just some finishing touches, 